All right, here's the latest tornado warning that does include parts of Saline County. This tornado warning goes until 1045. We have a cell that has continued to show rotation as it's making its way from Hot Spring County, getting into Saline County eventually. Right now, that rotation is about to approach you folks in Malvern. So if you're located within that tornado warning red box, go ahead and take your tornado precautions. That includes you folks in Haskell, Benton, Malvern, and some other communities as we zoom in here will pop up. Glen Rose, Traskwood, along Interstate 30, Rockport, Durian, and the actual rotation. When we take a look at the winds within this cell, because it continues to show rotation, there you see where those reds and blues are located. So it is just to the south west of Durian. It's going to be a very close call for you folks in Malvern. So Malvern, please make sure that you are in your safe place at this time. You don't have much time. I'm going to go ahead and put a track on here for you, Tom. Okay. We said that cell was going area. 40 miles per hour. I believe 40 miles per hour. And we may, we may take it even further north through Saline into western Pulaski County as well, because that would be the next stop. Uh, you're watching THV 11 News at 10 o'clock with Nathan Scott, Tom Brandon, uh, Faith and Rowley along with us as well. Tornado warning for Hot Spring and Saline County. The current path of this cell is going to take it into southern Saline County, may impact areas along I-30 near Haskell, Benton, and then eventually upwards into western Pulaski County. Uh, this takes us into uh, really for the next, really the next uh, oh, 45 minutes or so. Malvern at 1010, Traskwood at 1021, Benton 1032. You got 30 minutes, Benton, and then on up the road you've got Pine Haven at 1036, Alexander 1042. Mabelvale at 1046. Here's Pulaski, Western Pulaski County. If you are watching us tonight tracking storms and you live in Pulaski County, Western Pulaski, unless this thing begins to turn more northeasterly, if it holds together, it's going to make a pathway through the western part of Little Rock and Pulaski County. But for now, we're keeping an eye on what's happening just south of Malvern. There is our couplet. And uh, Nathan, it looks like it might have just gone up a notch with that latest, uh, latest uh, radar scan. And it does show on Storm Track 11 with the rotation pinpoint tool, Tom. There you go. And we're looking at our, our rotation tool, the blues and the greens. You get into the greens and yellows, it's a pretty good chance that the rotation may touch ground, may become a tornado. We haven't heard anything confirmed just yet. But if you do live up toward Burla, uh, Perla, excuse me, Malvern, Rock, uh, Rockport, even Butterfield, Arkansas, uh, we're getting out of Hot Spring County into Southern Saline County. The storm's moving to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. And Nathan, this is really the first one that's gotten close to central Arkansas tonight. We've been tracking a lot of straight line winds and heavy rainfall, but this is the first supercell that we've had that could potentially produce a tornado. Hopefully it's the only one. Hopefully. We were looking at some data earlier and it was showing the potential of rotating storms going up along Interstate 30 and Central Arkansas as we got into this time frame. That tornado watch has been extended until 4 a.m. for right. Central Arkansas. And it's a narrow corridor of counties, but these storms are not really jogging off to the east too much. So we have to watch out for these cells coming from the southwest that still could produce rotation. Let's go over to Max 1 now because once again, Durian, Malvern, you see where that little appendage is. That's where the tornado is located. So it's going to rain and then you might see a break right in there. the rain and, there and then you might there. see a little bit more rain before the actual, if there is a tornado happening, makes its way through your location. Right here. Here's Durian. There's uh, the area that we're talking about. Moments ago, it looked as if it was going to travel due north and uh, impact Malvern. It still might because it jogged a little back toward the west, but now this looks like it's more of a north by northeast track. So Durian, you are in the path. If you live along Highway 9 in Hot Spring County and you live near Durian, and then eventually 270 Malvern as you're heading toward Poen and then Prattsville. So these are the areas of concern in the next few minutes. Gifford, you're going to be in the path of this. Again, Highway 9, 270. There's uh, Harp, Arkansas. Landers is off to the southeast. And there is our couplet. There is the area of concern, and it's getting awfully close, if not over the top of Durian at this time. 
please take it seriously and get into your safe place. I know there's a lot of different colors here. You got blues and reds. These are couplets. If you look at the winds, you've got winds blowing toward radar in the blue, in the red away, and this is the area that we find the rotation within this supercell thunderstorm that is producing a lot of rain, could be producing a little bit of hail, and right now we're keeping an eye on it. It might produce a tornado at any moment. Nathan. Tom, I'm trying to see here if this is a CC dropout on Storm Track 11. That's, that's a little more concerning because it is all by itself. It just kind of disappeared there. So we'll have to see what that was. But that rotation is still there. I'll go back to one panel here. We'll just take a look at the, the pinpoint rotation tool. And it has disappeared. Okay. So it may have been a quick touchdown. And it looks like Storm Track 11, it please. possibly might have gone um, back. There we go. Into the cloud. So there you see it was looking like it was intensifying and then the latest scan, but you know, it could be reorganizing. But I think that's Going where it was cycle. the highest concern right there when we had that yellow start to pop up. And let me show you the, the CC here as well. There's our little dot that did match up with the rotation right there. So okay. there may have been something of a quick touchdown. 